Hi everyone, it's Ms. Sheehan. Today we're going to learn how to write and name ionic compounds. In video one, we learned how to make ions from the elements using the periodic table and their valence electrons. Today we're going to learn how to put those together to form neutral compounds. So let's get started. I'll enlarge this so you all can see. Okay, first thing you need to remember when writing ionic compounds is that all compounds are electrically neutral. Now that means that when the charges combine they equal zero. If you look at the bottom, sodium and chlorine combine to make sodium chloride. Sodium has a positive one charge and chlorine has a negative one charge. When they combine their net charges is equal to zero. You get a compound, NaCl. Let's try one together. If I have the sodium ion, it's got positive one charge because it's in alkali, it's an alkaline metal, it's in column one, and the phosphorus ion, which is right underneath nitrogen in column 15, it's got negative three charge. And I want to make a compound that's electrically neutral, which means I need as many positive charges as negative charges. So in order to combine these together, I'm going to need three sodium ions and one phosphorus ion. So my compound formula is going to be Na3P. Well, there's another way that we can do this. It's called the crisscross method. So if we crisscross the charges, we can make the subscripts for the compound. And if we make sure that they're in their lowest whole number ratio, you can always get the right formula. So what does this look like? Well, if I have Na plus 1 and P minus 3, and I crisscross the charges, I get Na3P. And the charges balance out. Let's try another one. If I had the aluminum ion and the oxygen ion and I want to make a compound, first thing I need to do is write their ions. Aluminum is plus three and oxygen is minus two based on their position on the periodic table. Aluminum and oxygen crisscross their charges to get the compound. Okay, now that we've practiced writing ionic formulas, I want you to practice your own. The ions that I had you write earlier in this section, I want you to use and form compounds. So at the end of this exercise, you should have written 36 ionic compounds. So I want you to use the nitrogen ion, the oxygen ion, the phosphorus ion, bromine ion, chlorine ion, and the fluorine ion. Those are going to be your anions, and anions always come second in the formula. Your potassium ion is going to be your first cation. So I want you to make a potassium and nitrogen compound, a potassium and an oxygen compound, and so forth and so on. Then you're going to repeat the process using the magnesium ion then the aluminum ion, the sodium ion, the barium ion, and the calcium ion. And when you've completed this, we'll go over it in class to make sure that you've made your proper formulas. That's only half of the process of ionic compounds. The other half is naming the ionic compound. And we're going to use monatomic ions. Monatomic simply means one atom. So you're going to have one cation and one anion making this formula. So we need to understand that when we name compounds and the first element is a cation, cations keep the element's name. And all cations are metals with the exception of one polyatomic cation, which we'll discuss in another video. We need to change the anion's name, however. That's the second element in the compound. That element's name is going to change its ending to ide. 
So Na2O becomes sodium oxide because the Na positive one charge is from sodium and the O minus two is oxygen, which changes its name to oxide, hence sodium oxide. Here's another example. If we have MgCl2, the formula originated from the Mg, the magnesium, plus two cation, and the Cl minus one anion. So the cation's name is magnesium, and the chlorine becomes chloride, so MgCl2 is called magnesium chloride. I hope you're catching on. I want you to try these, KCl, Na3n, Ba3n2, Sr3p2, K2O, Al2O3. And again, the answers will be given in class. So, good luck. If you have any problems, you know where I am. Have a nice night.